Hi there, and thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of your Wheel and Anchor weekly newsletter. Uh, still here in Valletta, Malta, uh, the beautiful island nation uh, here in the Mediterranean. And uh, we're just about to wrap up the first two weeks of our Live Away program here. Some of our members off to Sicily uh, and some new ones who are coming in to uh, enjoy all of the history of this beautiful country. And made me think about, uh, we've had a an amazing guide here in Malta for the last couple of weeks, a gentleman by the name of uh, Dominic, and I, I was musing about what uh, is what, what, what makes for great trips. And of course, one of the things, as um, many of you will agree, um, is having a great local guide. And if I think back to um, the trips that we run in all the different places, and by and large, we're really blessed to have some fantastic guides. Um, what makes a great guide? Uh, and I think, you know, there's a sometimes a fine line between um, someone who is really engaging and you just want to spend time with and, and learn more um, and someone who's just relaying facts. And I think, you know, that really boils down to um, obviously having a personality um, and the ability to be a bit of a storyteller. If you think about your own experiences with guides, whether it's with us or um, having traveled uh, uh, to other places with other companies or on your own, if you think about those, um, those you know, people who really stick out in your memory, it's because they don't just um, give you all the dates and all the facts and all the names that you don't remember anyway, but they explain it to you uh, in a way that it weaves all of the bits and pieces together. And, you know, when I think about Again, our experience that we've just had here in Malta, or I think about our guides like David in Japan, or like uh, Mohammed Yunus in Egypt, or Nina in Thailand, or so many others who I could rhyme off. Um, but that does seem to be the common thread. And, you know, a lot of people ask me, how do I find these people? Well, you know, we put a, quite a bit of effort into that because, uh, first of all, generally speaking, I like to hire. Um, you know, independent guides, freelancers, so to speak, as opposed to, you know, when you when you travel a lot with the bigger companies, they have um, uh, guides who are employed on a full time basis. And so when you have somebody who does the same thing for the same type of people day in, day, day out, over and over, not always the case, but it's like anything, if their variety is the spice of life, as they say. And so I think that, that with guiding that is that's a big piece of it. Um, people who are, are independent and kind of like you know, entrepreneurs in and of themselves take a different pride and a different passion in what they do. Uh, and it boils down a lot to the, um, the, 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 the travelers, the guests themselves, because um, the one thing that these guides also say to me is what they love about our Wheel and Anchor members, um, by and large Canadians, um, is the fact that there is a certain uh, inquisitiveness. There's a, a, a seeking of understanding, but at the same time, there's also an acceptance of what is. There's a there's a, a lot less complaining that goes on, um, and you know why isn't this the way it is at home? But rather, this is the way it is, and why is it? And so it's that symbiotic relationship, if you will, between the guide and the traveler that also makes for a terrific experience. So anyway, those are my musings this week on, on guides. Um, I love to hear your feedback and your own comments about um, what you think makes for a great guide. Um, because as I say, it's something that we're always on, that I'm always on the lookout for no matter where I go. Because uh, of course, uh, as I'm sure you will attest, having a great guide yeah, really makes uh, the difference of having an extraordinary trip rather than just a, a mediocre one. Just uh, this past week, uh, we launched our um, very special Egypt program down the Nile where we have chartered a Dahabia, in fact, a brand new private vessel uh, holding only 12, which, which has only 12 cabins where we're gonna be going next, Febu uh, next February and March. Uh, so if you're interested in that, please do uh, check out the replay. That program is also combined with our Holy Land program, Israel and Jordan. Also a very, very special trip that we have put together on the basis of our uh, experience from the last time we were there um, a year ago. So uh, take a look at that. This coming week, uh, we're going to be releasing, uh, re-releasing our next year's 
Kosamui Live Away program, we've made some uh, improvements and changes to that. So if you've thought about spending uh, a part of the winter away in the beautiful tropical island of Koh Samui in Thailand, uh, look out for our webinar that's happening next Thursday, uh, next uh, this, uh, this coming week. In any event, the information is in the blog below. Check it out and I look forward to seeing you next week.